welcome to Rancho del Arroyo. Your flight was okay. Can I get you? This is Vaquero country. Generations of cowboys have eked out a living here, my family among them. But all that cattle ranching has left its mark. I'd be trading this land's future for a quick buck if I wasn't prepared to face up to that. You've been all over the world, hunted in countless reserves. If anyone knows what this place needs to compete with the best of them, it's you. So, I want you to help us make a change. Become Northern Mexico's leading biosphere and hunting reserve. Let me explain. Sleepyhead. It's time to get to work. If you want to head out and work off last night's carne asada, do me the honor of officially opening this outpost first, huh? Or feel free to scout out the place. Get the bacanora out of your system. This building, La Casa Grande, or the Big House, is gonna be your base of operations. I know, it's a mess. I took my own stuff, but... Nobody's volunteered to come pick up the family's things yet. So look all you want, but don't touch. <laughs> My mom would come over and hit me with her flip-flop if I so much as hinted that someone had been rummaging around. <laughs> uh, family, you know. Anyway, settle in. U.S. hunters love the glass terrain with binoculars. But if you find yourself in denser cover, tracking's the way to go. Just make sure you keep your bearings. The Underdogs by Mariano Azuela. Yeah, it's about the revolution. My bisabuelo Javier used to complain that Azuela had gotten it all wrong. <laughs> and I should know I was there. <laughs> but he must have read it cover to cover at 20 times. Oh, oh, I told her to take those down. Uh, this is what I did when the other boys were out playing soccer. <laughs> Managed to make a career out of it, at least. here much since my bisabuelo. Uh, that's my great-grandfather, since he died. That was my great-grandfather Javier's. I swear that man used to take the damn thing into the bathroom with him. He was a vaquero through and through. Este... Hey, uh, I don't mean to stress you out or anything, but this isn't quite what I meant by scouting the place out. Ah, that's a soldadera's hat. A woman revolutionary. My sister borrowed it for the centenary celebrations in Mexico City a few years ago. Let no one tell you Mexican women are afraid to do the dirty work. <laughs> My abuela insisted on the cross. At least we managed to convince her that one was enough. Huh? Well, your, um, your thorough, I'll give you that. Whenever you need a real bed. 
Now, I know you've mastered some pretty extreme environments, but the desert isn't something you can just stroll into. Why don't you do some scouting from the lookout tower nearby? The first step to surviving out here is knowing where the water is. That'll lead you to the food, and I'm sure you can figure out the rest. It's captivating, no? Except a lot of the problem with ranches like this one is what you can't see. We've sucked up so much of the groundwater for cattle that areas that used to be wetlands are turning arid year-round. The grasslands are mostly buffalo grass. It's an introduced species that smothers native plants. Likes to catch fire, too. I once saw a saguaro, you know, one of those classic cactus plants, surrounded by buffalo grass, burst into flames. It was one of the kicks in the rear I needed to finally sell off the last of our cattle. Anyway, take the time to explore the ranch in your downtime, too. If even half of what I heard growing up is true, <laughs> there is plenty waiting out there. <laughs> 